So for my second deck spotlight, I am going to give you guys a twofer. Uh, we're going to talk about one deck but two different lists because they play kind of differently despite being incredibly similar. I have been playing a lot of Action Assassin lately. Now, Action Assassin has been called a lot of different things. You can call it Smuggler's Hall Assassin, Hex Mage Assassin, Action Assassin. Uh, I've got a lot of cute pet names for it, like I'll call it Hall Ass Assassin, or Sex Mage, or Action Jackson, or Lights Camera Action, or etc, etc. Like, I call it a bunch of things, but basically, the core of the deck is that you run Crystal Tower Crafter, you run Goblin Skulk, uh, usually at least one zero cost spell, the most frequent one is often Lesser Ward, but there are some variations. Uh, you run Lilandril Hex Mage and Smuggler's Hall. And the rest are all uh, usually like actions or um, cards that help with synergies to complete the core of the deck. So that's the core of Action Assassin. Now the first list I want to talk about is the aggressive list. So the aggressive list tends to focus on reach and early uh, power on the board. Um, it will feature a two drop that's usually either uh, Mournhold Trader, Daring Cut Purse, or the Navigator because they all are very aggressive and they do different things differently but very well all in their own respect right cut purse is a another snowball card to go along with your tower crafter that your opponent has to answer navigator swings for three and replaces itself very frequently with an action which is great uh trader is just massive right like if you've played any aggressive deck with agility then you understand how good trader is so um that version usually runs those and then it will also typically run things like Cliff Racer to give you some additional reach. The charge is really important. And uh, my version actually runs one Swift Strike for the extra attack. Some people run uh, the Queen uh, in that spot as well. Um, that one's kind of a preference thing. So uh, the aggressive list is, again, just faces the place. You know, you still make use of the combos, but it's all, all the synergies are meant to just uh, do as much damage as possible. Now the second list is more of a mid-range list. So the second list focuses more on, instead of just the speed of your damage, applying like more consistent threats over the course of a game. Uh, this is the list that I played early on, and I had a lot of success because I was playing against a lot of either uh, slower decks or control decks. Uh, I found that this one had a better matchup, for example, against uh, ramp scout just because you didn't run out of gas and you weren't like ultimately ultra punished if they got you know a snake tooth necklace off for a turn or two um, the reason for that is that this list instead runs uh, shimmering peddler I'm probably mispronouncing that but it runs the peddler and the two drop because that allows you to still get a two drop but also potentially draw cards to prevent you from running out of gas and then instead of running the cliff racers right it runs Elusive Schemer. Now, Schemer does a lot of things really well. It doesn't give you the reach that Cliff Racer does, and it's certainly more brittle, but it replaces itself when you play it. It still swings for four, and it has a crazy good synergy with Goblin Skulk. So once one has died, the Skulk has the ability to fetch the zero-cost Schemer from your deck, and when you're getting zero-cost Schemers every turn from a Skulk, things get out of hand pretty quickly. Um, my list also ran one single copy of Supreme Atromancer, uh, largely because it was additional late game reach. That card is usually really good against Ramp Scout. Um, it struggled against cards like, uh, or against decks like Control Mage because of the, uh, they include cards like Ice Storm, right? Ramp Scout doesn't have like really good or really effective board clears, board sweeps, so Atromancer really shines in that matchup. And it turns out that if you get a Smuggler's Hall and you're unlucky in terms of getting your actions, but you get, you know, two or three of those zero drop minions, um, if you're already sitting on the Atromancer in your hand, then you can just hold them for a turn or two, and then you can really combo off with the Atromancer. You can uh, play Atromancer and then play zero cost schemers or the zero drop minions that you get from Smuggler's Hall and instead of just getting four damage of reach you can get six, eight, ten. Um, it can be a lot of unexpected burst. So 
I, I included one copy of Atromancer for that, and it, and it worked out pretty well for me. So um, those are the two different lists. Uh, the mid-range list, again, with the, the schemers, I felt was better against control because there were a lot of games where I, my hand was flooded. Like, you just don't run out of cards with that deck. It's really hard to run out of cards. Uh, and that's really good against control because a lot of times you're going to have to, you know, lose some stuff on some two-for-ones, whether it's crashing into big guards or them playing removal. So that one was really good against control, and I played it early in the season because I saw a lot of Hisgrove-based decks um, at that time. The other version, the aggressive version, is actually pretty good against other aggressive decks or a little bit better in the mirror. So if you have the aggressive version and you queue up against my schemer version, the schemer version, in my opinion, is kind of at a disadvantage. Um, doesn't mean you can't win, but you actually play that game more like a control player at that point. You try to get them to exhaust their resources, uh, and then you go to finish them off. But it's really dangerous because besides the Werebats and the Kinsmans, you don't have effective ways to gain health and stabilize, so it's kind of a gamble. But, uh, yeah, the aggressive one, uh, in my opinion, really good against other aggressive decks, uh, really good in the mirror. Uh, the mid-range one, really good against control decks, and uh, especially scout ramp. So, coming up, I'm going to include some clips with both of the different versions of the decks, so that you can see each of the different style of deck in action. Um, hopefully they kind of help you with you know how to play through it even though I think the decks kinda of straightforward um, it's good good to see them in action so uh, stay tuned for the clips and then also in the description I'm going to include a link to both of the different deck lists as well so uh, they may change over time specifically the Mournhold Trader one like I said I fluctuate between the two drop often so if it doesn't uh, match what's in the video when you click on it don't panic that's probably because I've changed it recently but uh, for the most part, they're going to be incredibly similar and function the same way. So uh, enjoy, and I will see you next time. Boom's life. If I fall, the hiss will reclaim me. Moderately annoying, but not the end of the world. The Night Mother will guide us. Have you a decent turn next turn as well? <laughs> Interesting, I didn't know he uh, ran witches. Let's see I what this gets us. Mm. Nicely done. Thank you. Do we slaughter fish here? I think we still Didn't do. Didn't see this coming, eh? <laughs> I think we still do. I really don't like uh, this being wounded. Since he's running uh, the Murkwaters, I have to assume he's probably running finish off effects as well. rather unfortunate for us. We either lose the Mourn Hold, well, or we lose the Slaughterfish. It looks like we're stuck losing the Slaughterfish, realistically. Hey, Tavarish! So I wait for a turn, this attacks here. Right, and then uh, this thing still lives either way. Didn't see this coming, eh? We know. 
shall we begin? I can't really leave that there. Well, unfortunate, uh, unfortunately for you, Shaman, you're not allowed to die. Anasi finds it useful to use her enemies oh. against them. Stole my lethal. Didn't see this coming, eh? There's more to come. We know. Stole my lethal. annoying to, to say the least There's I mean we have to do that I really don't want a two for one right there I ever ever so needed a uh, skulk to hit. Hmm. The Anasi and the guard. We know. Not much we can do, I don't think. I think we just have to try to force damage and hope that he can't, can't gain life. Ultra effectively. There is a toll for this road. They make it too easy. They'll never outsmart me. Still gonna get so much value out of those. Claws out. But if he doesn't play a guard and he doesn't gain life. I guess that was wishful thinking, huh? I know we have the Brotherhood, but... I know we have the Brotherhood, but... Tezkad's kind of a beast on his own. Gets rid of the guard, which I think is more important at this point. Now we don't have to worry about dealing with runes anymore. If I had to have, what, like nine cards? Yeah. There are ill winds this day. Smuggler's coming over, so I think we're losing the Hex Mage. So you just need direct damage. I lurk in the shadows. Waiting. Of course, I'm on your They'll side. Never well, I guess we do that then. We didn't find direct damage, so just keep pressure. Maybe should have kept this because the Dawn's Wrath here would suck. I'm not killing you. Nice try. Because we kept this and we drew like Shadow Shift. Right, then that would have been enough to theoretically cause lethal. So that playing this one might have been a misplay. Well, I think that's all of the cliff racers now. We know. They cannot hope to have with me. Kinsman theoretically gives us some reach, even if he plays a guard. They cannot hope to outwit me. Uh oh. 
Gotta hope he can't play enough to sack us. Uh, Alright. Yeah, we'll keep that. Monk, huh? This might be the uh, first time we've played Monk tonight. Whoa, I was like, why? What is going on? Please don't make me DC right now. That would have not been good. Training is over. It's time to act. Um... As much as I want to play the second Crystal Tower Crafter here, I feel like not letting that be a thing is really important. Training is over. It's time to act. Shall we begin? Let's see what we draw. There's more to come. All right. So if we can ride the tempo of these two pretty far. We've got a lot of like gas for finishing. Hex mage into smugglers hall should be pretty decent. Um, Taskhead's obviously a good finisher. That kind of sucks for us. But you can't defeat me. There's not a whole lot we can really do about that. Uh, Werebat helps. And I think we probably play the Werebat here because then we have just five, six, and then him on seven. So we just stay on curve that way. Do we take this out? Yeah, There's I think we do. <gasps> Gonna lose this, but I hear an obey. Acknowledge the forest is more clout. That's unfortunate. I think we still hex mage here. Because again, uh, expect this we to be a trade here, action. so trying to potentially maximize our reach with the hall play next turn. So right, we really want that drain now. Because his bet could be a problem. Or, I mean, we really want that silence to deal with his drain, that's what I meant to say. Herp derp. Uh, no, we don't want to swing because we might get stuff that pump. Well, that is maybe the most lackluster outcome we could have had there, actually. Brains of a broad. And we don't have Atromancer, so holding the zero guys doesn't really matter. My sword is yours. Um, he doesn't have direct damage. So you have to javelin to get rid of something, so I actually think we go with that. Go with that. So he's gonna gain five and go to twelve, huh? No, he's gonna gain a lot more than five. It's nothing personal. Well, that was really unfortunate for us. I hear and obey. All right. Well, we gotta get the bat off the board.
Doing a good job of trying to stabilize. It's nothing. That was that was a lot of drain for us to deal with. I mean, we have a, a relatively decent bounce back here, but it's got a lot of cards and a lot of magic now. If I fall, the hist will be. That's really unfortunate. I do love a good fight. Shall we begin? Let's see what we get before I crash that in. Nope, just gonna have to plow through. This will let us draw a card at least. Let's just draw a card at least. So we've got four, we got 12 there potentially, depending on what he does. With Kinsman and Hexmage. I mean, I gotta imagine he's gonna respond somehow. My sword hand itches. It's really unfortunate we didn't get an action there. Because that basically means we have to trade with two of them to keep heat. It's really unfortunate. Um. There's yeah, more I mean, we come. just have to. I don't like it. That's what you gotta do. Hands off my wares. I don't really want to gain the life, but... Werebat threatens more damage than uh, the Kinsman. The only reason I was considering the Kinsman is because you could attack and then play the Werebat in there to... Uh, in theory, like, blow him up, but it would require us to have, like, drawn a creature and him not have answers, right? So, in this instance. Alright, so we have the ward. Hands off my way! Brains of a broad! Hope to me. I'm pushing to one. Oh, Gonna go back to four. Come dance with death. Our own kinsman takes him back to one. I so we need direct fight. damage. Night, um, shift. Atromancer. There, that'll do it. By the egg. Elements, I that'll do it. Turquoise? Really? You got paired up to this? Ugh. Let's cycle and get that out of the way. Because he's gonna... Start hammering us with, uh, yeah. Quality, uh, two drops here. They cannot hope to outwit me. So we're gonna go with this as opposed to Slaughterfish because this could trade in, right? And next turn, if I potion, I can Slaughterfish and move one if necessary to try to double up on keeping them. Um, I assume he's probably running at least Rapid Shot in terms of removal. Might have Sharpshooter Scout. Well, there's there's the rapid shot. The longer the odds, the sweeter the victory. Uh. 
Interesting. All too simple. All right. So let's see what that gets us. Because without answers, that puts us ahead in the race pretty significantly. Just schemer. For now. Because we do have a fair amount of reach with the uh, the crushing blows, right? So Take the race. You just smirk it. <laughs> 